When did you first meet George Floyd, Stephen? When did you first meet him? Uh, about 20 to 20. Not, I don't know the exact time. But from 20, 25 years ago, I was in the end of my high school years, uh, mid-high school years, and um, a friend of mine named Telly Joyce, rest in peace, Telly, um, he brought him down. Before he brought him down, he was like, I got a homeboy in Houston who looks just like you. And he played basketball, too. You know, he was an athlete, too. And uh, when he brought him down to uh, Port Arthur, Texas, the first our first uh, reaction was, who your daddy? Who your daddy? Because we looked that much alike. <laughs> and the conversation from there built onto a friendship of him being one of my biggest supporters, him, uh, each other. We, we addressed each other as twin from that day on. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of videos that I've been watching now. Just it, it just it just makes me real emotional because he was somebody that really supported me without any motives. You know what I'm saying? He, he was a genuine supporter. And uh, somebody that showed so much love had to die from somebody that, that showed so much hate. I, he didn't have to go out like that. Well, gosh, um, that's, that's, that's uh, understating it for sure right there. So um, when did you first hear about uh, um, all this. Did you see the video first and not know it was George? Uh, walk me through how you 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 learned of your your friend's um, death. Um, I um, I was on the couch. My daughter was at my house, and I was uh, I was on sleep with my, on the on the couch with my daughter because I can't fit in her bed anymore. So we sleep on the couch now. And uh, I have a video from my girlfriend's mom. You know, we talked about so we talked about police brutality a lot. Me and her, and uh, she sent me a video. And I'm half asleep when my phone rung, were vibrated, and I looked at the video like they didn't, they didn't uh, killed another brother, you know, not even paying attention. And she lives in Minnesota. Her, her whole family, her mom lives in Minnesota, and I'm just thinking it's another video from her. And as I, as I close the video, I put my phone back down, and my phone vibrates again. And I see I have like 25 to 20-something 20, 20 messages. And I opened a message from my friend Mike D, and it said, you see what they did, your twin in Minnesota. And it, it, it instantly clicked. And, and, and I related to both of them, and I just got up screaming. I punched some stuff. I scared the mess out of my daughter. Uh -huh. I kind of lost it for a good 10 minutes because, you know, I instantly saw myself down there, and I, I, I didn't think that could happen to him, you know. And um, it, 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 put me in a, it put me in a place where from that day on, I don't know how I feel, what direction I'm going. I, I really I really, I'm just feel like I'm, I'm going in circles, but... From since that day on, you know, it, 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 I, I just been in shock, kind of. It, it, it was a crazy day that day. Stephen Jackson here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, and as you point out, you said you have conversations uh, about police brutality uh, with your friends, your family. The fact that your twin is somebody who's murder, and that's the way to describe it, his murder, is something that appears to be. And again, I'm a 50-year-old white guy, so you tell me. It does appear to me that this is different now. And I'm wondering what you think of when you know it's your friend's death who has led to what is happening right now on it, the streets it, and around the world. It makes, it, it makes sense to me, Rich. It makes sense to me because he was a, he, he was a protector and provider for everybody. You know, every everybody that knows him knows that he'll give his last to anybody. If he got a hundred dollars and there's four people in the car, he's gonna break that down where everybody had the same amount. That that that's just how he was. Um, the con the last couple conversations we had when we talked about a year ago, you know, was was about his daughter, was about him being in Minnesota and changing his life. You know, he wasn't one of those friends that called me for money. You know, he needed clothes. He needed clothes and suits for job interviews and stuff like that. He was really changing his life, man. So I'm not surprised that 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 his death is going to be meaningful and his, and his name and death is not going in vain. And I'm gonna make sure that. I mean, I never thought it, his death would put me in a position to to lead 18 countries and all 50 states to protest at one time. I'm proud of that, and and I and I know he would have did the same thing for me. So. Um, his death has been a blessing. Is he also changing his daughter's life? So is all the, I'm, I'm looking at all the positive things that, that that's coming out of his death because that's all we can do right now because we can't bring it back. But um, you know, I just wish things could have been different. Well, I know this might be putting you in in a in a position, um, Stephen. But uh, I'm curious, um, and I know it's about what what to do next and moving forward. And I do want to get to that. But did did George know the cop who put his knee on his neck and killed him? Did he know him? Do you think? 
You know, I, I, I heard a lot of stuff. I heard, you know, about the, them working at the same club, and I know it's kind of hard to be at the same club to not know each other. But there's a lot of things that I can't talk about because, you know, I'm, I'm in Minnesota now, and I've been on the ground, and I've heard a lot of things. Me and some of my friends, we've been around, and a lot of stuff has gotten to us. So I think it's more that's going to come out in due time. But I, to answer your question, it's kind of hard to work at the same club and not know each other or not bump into each other at least once or twice.